always stay with Look, 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 what about all that, man? Well, we saw, it's how we start an episode. Steve. I mean, I wasn't planning on mixing it. He just started mixing it. Yeah, <laughs> like, this is a shot. This is a drink. Nigga, what that nigga, hey, what that nigga say? You it's 9 a.m. You more. niggas want me to drink shit straight and niggas is tripping. <laughs> Pour me a little more. <laughs> that part. Go ahead. Pour a little more, well, too. Right. Angelisco's bringing in the couch. <laughs> oh, oh, shout out Angelisco. Angelisco. Angelisco to Keelan. Thank you. <laughs> Throw the bottle. Throw the bottle. <laughs> With no top on, huh? Okay. <laughs> That's my triple move. Hand it to the black hand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, shot. Everybody sit there. All right, go. All right, let's get this bitch started. You heard me? Yeah. Woo. All right. My name is Ariel. My name is Taji. Welcome to the LAUSD podcast. Episode two. So, here we go. We're going to... Uh, do we uh, introduce our oh, yeah. our let's, comics? Let's introduce our uh, sponsors. First, we got Angelisco Tequila. Shout out Benzoid. Mm. Shout out Angelisco Tequila. Um, then we got Juju right. Nug, some good weed. Fire, we'll, actually. We'll smoke it up. That first episode, I actually smoked it later. I was like, I'm too damn high. Oh, we know you just <laughs> <crazy. laughs> Fire, actually. Smoke it up. Oh, you feel me? My comic book, <laughs> Element the Alchemist, coming soon. Kickstarter, check it out. Instagram, all that is booming. Yeah, we're gonna, right. we gonna get into this. Let's get right into it. Yeah. So, what is the first one that you want to talk about? Well, first, the main topic of today is gonna be personal philosophies. Mm -hmm. And yeah, each person's personal philosophies. Let's talk about it. Okay. The first one I wanted to talk about today, let me see, let me go to the. Cause I was like, I think I have mine. Oh, you got yours already ready? My bad, I got two phones. Let me pull them down. All right, so I was like, how do you define what's good and what's bad? What's good and what's bad? Mm. I think some things could be good, but not good for you. And I think some things could be bad, but not necessarily bad for you. You feel me? So right, give like, me an example. Like, if you're fucking with a certain woman and you like fucking her and you think the pussy is good, you feel me? Mm hmm But she fucking around doing all types of other shit and getting you in like situations yeah. and like just all over the place, mm -hmm. then maybe she's not good for you. So she has a good, kind of like you have a good, everybody has a good part of them and a bad part of them. So you have, oh yeah, like you are super nice, super helpful and stuff like that. But then you have a problem with getting drunk and starting to hit people and start acting crazy. But other than you going and do all that stuff, you're a really dope ass person. So a good and a bad. Mm -hmm. But a lot of people see like a gray part of a gray area in life. Like when it's like stealing. Stealing is obviously what? Bad. But it's like, oh, what if you're stealing for your baby or your child, it's still bad, but I feel you. Like, if you're trying to provide, but like it's... Some Robin Hood shit. Yeah, yeah. So it's still, exactly. <laughs> so I was like, it's still bad, but we all, everybody tries to find a loophole and shit to make it not that bad, when overall it's still bad. No, I feel that. I mean, I guess you got to take everything into context, context and a perspective and, like, just know, like, all right, Look at look at everything from a multitude of, of like ways. Like I look at something, I'm like, okay, this might be good here, but is it good for me down the road? Is it mm -hmm. good for me like, like, is it good for the people around me? You know, wait. Like, so you take everything like that, every question everything. into in life. You are a liar because if something just spurts up or something, it's like you're not gonna be like, well, let me dissect this problem real quick. You're gonna be like, fuck it, I'm gonna either go with something. Like, that's honest. my. That's one of my like. That's one of that's my really biggest, what you do. biggest flaws. I'm a deep thinker. Like I think into everything way deeper than it is. Sometimes, sometimes it is deep. Sometimes mm, it's not deep. Not that deep. And yeah. Sometimes I take it way deeper than it actually like needs to be. You know. So what is actually actually like bad? What's actually something you could say? No, like everybody can read. That's bad. That's bad. Mm. Beyond raping people is bad. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> for sure. like, bad. But yeah. killing people, sometimes that can't be that bad. Because there's a reason, situation wise. Yeah, you never context. had a reason to rape nobody. <laughs> you just rape the people. <laughs> I made you think of the episode of the Boondocks. What if it's the, the last two people on earth? You had to rape somebody? 
I guess nobody's I'm, gonna. And a, and a woman needed to repopulate, so she raped a nigga. Is that is that acceptable? Do you count a girl raping? Can yes. girls? Yes. 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 So Absolutely. you guys been raped before? <laughs> Similar, some close to it. I ain't gonna lie. I, I don't even gonna talk about. I ain't gonna say oh, I've been raped before. But women force sex on you a lot. So like, wake up. I'm knocked out. You feel me? It's six in the morning. And you just got some pussy on you. It's just pussy on my leg, like rubbing oh. on my leg like this. Like that might not be right, but it's for it's some force sex in there. Like I ain't gonna lie to you. It's like ah, uh, right, man. Then you feel me? Like you just. Was she bad or was she like ugly? Yeah, I mean it's. I don't care how bad you is. If I'm knocked the fuck out and I'm, I done fucked you last night and the day before, and it's I your want bitch? some sleep. And it's your bitch. I mean, yeah. If it's that, uh-huh. if it's that important, like wake me up to some head or something. But like, <laughs> I be doing a lot and I be working out and I be doing all that shit. I be needing Look, I'm my tired. Sleep, I'm, I'm tired. T- thank you. I'm tired. I'm not gonna lie. I get really angry trying to get woken out. It's like I'm really tired to where I'll get up and I'll go sleep on the floor. I'm tired. I'll go sleep in the bathroom if it's that necessary. Sleep in the bathroom. I sleep in I the bathroom. Before. You know what I like doing though? I sleep in the car. That's what I told you. Oh, you did? <laughs> if you, if your girl really loves you, here's a test for you niggas. She'll sleep in the car with you. No cap. <laughs> like, no lie. If your girl really loves you, and it's like, fuck, baby, I can't get no room tonight. Like, is you trying you to chill with me or what? Like, we, we could just chill in the car. You feel me? I'll park, park, uh, park up right here, post up. If she says no, she want to go back in the house, she don't really fuck with you. I'll tell you that right now. I'm a little bit of both. I was like, yeah, I've slept in the car with homegirls, homies, my nigga. I slept in the car a, a couple times, but then it's like, I've also been that homegirl, a home when it's like, that. oh, we're out and the tire pops, and it's late and I'm tired and I'm hungry. Like, man, bro, I'll catch you later. I gotta are you, go. Are you, you the ghoster? I, I look, he will be that friend sometimes. If I'm not that cool with you, I'll be like, ah, I'm sorry, bro. I, I'll slide you $20, I'll slide you 40 bucks, but I gotta go. Hopefully that helps with your, you can get a tire, us. Uh, use tire tomorrow. So I'll do something you, like that. I'll let you use my AAA. I ain't gonna be there though. But if you're left out of toes, you don't got no card. more toes, and you just gotta. People, you, people using your AAA will fuck you up, fuck yourself up in the long run. Wait. I, I'm dead that you just said that because I had this girl and she used to come over to my house. And it's crazy. She used to come in my car and chill all night, you feel <laughs> me? And leave her fucking Chrysler 300 on all damn oh. night long. And guess what <laughs> happened every single time? Bob knows. Every single time. All right, you ready to go? I'm tired, it's 4 a.m. You gotta go. I'm, I'm ready to go to sleep. Uh, my car is not starting. Oh my God! Yes. So I swear this happened at least four times. And then I popped my tar- tire driving down Slauson. Most fucked up street in LA. <laughs> driving down Slauson, pop my shit. I'm calling AAA like, yeah, I need to get my, oh, we're sorry, you have to pay $200. You have ran out of service. I'm like, nigga, I'm a gold member. <laughs> How you run out of service, you a gold member? I know. I thought you get a limited toe, a limited everything. <laughs> Clearly not. I got five and they said, look, nigga, it's too many. I don't give a fuck if you're a gold member or not, nigga. That is hilarious. Yeah. That's a fucked up bitch, though. Honestly, saying I slept in the nigga's house that actually had rats. That's love. That's love. Rats is crazy because you live in crazy. L.A. If you got rats in your house, yes. you on some New so York I, shit, nigga. I woke up and I seen like he had like the rat poison. I woke up like barefooted, finna walk to the bathroom <laughs> and I see a rat. Oh. Tossing and I'm like, I was like, the thing is, I'm so funny. I'm like, ah, damn. And I started laughing. And he's like, what's wrong? And I was like, you have to come see this. Look at it. And it's a baby rat going like this. And he was oh. like, I don't want to touch it. Hell Nigga, no. if you don't pick this fucking rat up and throw it out the house. Hell no. Nah. I ain't gonna lie. I seen a roach in a girl's house and I was thinking about not fucking with her after that. Like, and I'll be having roaches in my house sometimes. I'm like, to kill them niggas. But I'm like, you a female though, so it's different. <laughs> I'm a judge. <laughs> I'm judgmental, you feel me? That's fucked up. Just because she had a roach. Sometimes it's just a roach. If you see a bunch of roaches, what you, every, every house got one roach limit. If I see more than one roach, then you gotta go. Then it's an infestation. And, <laughs> that is good. I ain't gonna lie. I come up in some fucked up ass apartments. I used to have all type of roaches, but one thing I never had was rats in my motherfucking life. Only time I seen rats is outside, nigga, in, uh, at the Burger King on, on Broadway in uh, Slauson, nigga. This is a old, I mean, not Broadway in Slauson, Broadway in uh, Sunset, nigga. That's funny. Well, okay, wait, wait, wait. So wait, now I gave you mine, now you gotta give me the other topic. So that was one of the topics, but if, if it somehow pops back up and something good and bad. Nah, okay, we'll, we'll bring it back up. Real quick, so do you believe since it's good and bad? Sex? That- 
No, like, they didn't, you know, what you just said. She so. said since. No, yeah, since. But since that's the case, do nice guys always finish last, right? Somewhat because I've had a nice guy finish last, but then you low key realize it too late and you're like, now you get the nigga up. Like, honestly, I hit a nigga about telling him, I was like, I apologize for treating you like that. I was fucked up. Then look at I was like, I wanted the nigga back. Like, let's think back up. Let's go with you. He had a girlfriend. And then next thing you know, I get a, a, a DM talking about, I hope you know how to fight. And I'm like, this nigga told his bitch. I was like, you hit me up, and I would he never. He don't sound like a nice guy to me. What type of nigga tell you? He hits me up all the time, and I just let the shit go. Like, oh, no, I've been cool, straight. I still talk to you, but, oh, you tell your bitch. You must be feeling high and mighty. But I was like, I let you slide when I had my nigga, but you don't let me slide when I, you have your bitch. I just started laughing so hard, like, I can't believe this bitch. He must have been like, oh, yeah, Ariel hit me up. Bitch, you're still a bitch and you're mad because you're still trying to get with me. And I said, no. Nigga, I just felt bad for you. Like, you know what? Let me get this bitch ass nigga a chance. Because honestly, fuck it. What, what, what's the worst can come from this? Nothing. Because he was a nice guy, huh? He was a nice guy. Super nice guy. Sound like he wasn't that nice to me. But no, after you break a nigga's heart that long and you keep on doing somebody that dirty, they're bound to like go off. They're bound to do something because they're hurt. They hurt people hurt people. And I really believe in that saying, because once you're angry and you're upset and somebody's going off that day, they're upset that day. Their whole day's fucked. And I fucking really ruined this nigga's life, Loki. His credit, he used up his credit, it's fucked up. Nigga lost all his jobs. Fucking, I did him dirty. Like I would, on his birthday, I took his, I did some baby boy shit. On his birthday, he was at work, I took his car to go be, meet up with another nigga in jail. Because <coughs> I didn't have a car back then. I've been on that type of time too, yeah. but what, do nice guys finish last? I'm mm. not a nice guy, so I'll never know. Ah, uh, ugly. <laughs> you sound like <laughs> I'll never know. Honestly, no, but I think, yes, half the time they do, but then bitches realize they're too last and they're like, I want that nice guy back. All right. So, so knowing that, so since no, nice, you, you know, me. nice guys finish last, knowing that, would you be a nice guy or would you, you feel me, be toxic? With what, with my new situation? No, or what? Just, just if, you were, if you were a guy, would you be a nice guy or would you be a dickhead like me? I think it depends all on the bitch. If a bitch is like throwing her, like, like you say, you'll treat a hoe like a hoe and a woman like a woman. If you're treating, if you acting like a hoe and just trying to fuck, all right, let's fuck. And then I'm gonna get on. And if you're hitting me up, what's wrong? Why aren't you hitting me up? You did it. You did what you did and I did what I did. Now it's like, if it's a lady and I'm trying to talk to her and I'm trying to like, okay, what's up? She's not giving me the time of day. I'm still gonna want it more. I think that's what a lot of people are nowadays. You want it more when they're not giving it to you. So if a girl is not giving it to me, I'm gonna keep on trying to pursue her. And once I get her, it's like, I got you. Now yeah. I'm not gonna do you bad. I think it depends on the girl. Cause I think even the most craziest, most rawest nigga ever, if he meet the right bitch, it might soften him up a little bit. You feel yep. me? Like, no cap, like, the right one will make the most ratchetest, wildest nigga act right, you feel me? And, um... You could be the right person for the wrong one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or you could be the right person for the right one, so it goes both ways. You just never fucking know what you're getting yourself into, but that's life, it's a gamble, so we'll figure it the fuck out <laughs> along the way. No, nah, for real. All right, so here's my first question that I got. Do you believe that we have free will in life or are we all on a set path? Well, being black, we don't have that much free will because a lot of shit does not, we don't get love like all the other races get love and have everybody be like on their side. Even black people get on each other's side, black on black crime. We don't help each other out like how Mexicans be helping each other out and stuff like that. So as saying we have free will, to a certain extent. I mean, like nowadays, we have free will to become billionaires, to make our own businesses, to do all well, stuff like that. And having a set path is kind of hard to say. You can have a plan for your life and be like, okay, this is my set path. But God has a plan for you and that's, autumn, that's your real plan. And it's kind of whatever life throws at you. Like today, you can find out, damn, I got a girl, a girl's gonna call you. Hey, I'm pregnant. Sounds and good. you didn't. What if she? Put, I'm, I'm. Hey, knock on. Yeah, we on the wood. Knock, knock on wood. Some wood over here. I'm not Let's not. I'm not gonna put that on you, Ricky Bobby. But I was like, just. For real. 
if then you never know what life throws at you. So I can't say there's not a set path. I mean, I wish it was a set path. I wish everything did go like, this is step one, two, three, four, five, but it doesn't work out like that. So no, I don't believe in it. Let me take it a step deeper. Do you think that God has a set, like already like set destiny for you? Like you, this is gonna be your life and you just sitting here with just vessels living at? Or do you think like we're literally altering the future as we go? We are, it's hard to say, I feel like it's a little bit of both. Cause like we're born into sin. So it's kind of like our decisions. And when you make prayers, it's kind of like you're one of the, the prayer when you pray is like, I want to be more like God. The goal is to be more like God, to be more like Jesus. So shit, that's the most you can fucking do it. But God knows like he died for our sins. We're going to be sinning. We're going to be making different like choices every day. So the set path is God has a plan, but then overall, you got all you have to do is you have to follow him, follow in his footsteps to make sure your plan goes accordingly. Cause you can fuck up your own plan that he has for you. And it's, everybody says the plan he has for you is great. So you could fuck up the great plan by all the decisions that the devil's throwing at you and you're accepting those decisions. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. It's like hot as fuck. Can you pour me up again? <laughs> <laughs> um, I personally feel like there is no set plan. There's no this is this and this is that or like you going? <laughs> uh, I guess I feel like you know like we our action on our actions determine what the end of the world is you feel me like mm -hmm. all our actions has every single action even us just coming here and doing this podcast you feel mm -hmm. me and talking and putting it out to the world like it's determining our final outcome yeah and um, I remember I had this discussion with my dad one day when we were young. I was young, actually. He was young, too, though. He was probably, like, 30 something. Mm -hmm. And um, he told me that, like, nah, like, you you do what you want. And I, and I said, nah, I think, like, we all, like, on our own set path. Like, mm -hmm. and it's me being young, just talking about it. Like, I think, like, everything is already predetermined for us. We just gonna, we just out here doing with it, whatever God wanted it's us to do. From, like, too. But then I just, like, as I get older and I see, like, certain people just, certain things happen to certain people and I just know, like, there's no way that that's, like, a predetermined path, like, certain things, you know, like, certain things are just so crazy and just, like, freak accidents and just, you know, like, that sometimes it's, like, it's really, like, our actions that's determining yeah. the, um... But I do on. believe in freak accidents. Freak accidents sometimes be happening. Like, like, what is that thing? It's like, you're driving for, because other people on the road, you're driving for other people on the road, not you or something like that. Because you never know, you're just walking down the street and next day you get hit by a car. That's a freak accident. But a lot of decisions, like when niggas are like, why me, I'm in jail. Nigga, you did something stupid and that's why you went in jail. Cause like, I hate that I really have to sit down, like maybe like a, this year, a couple months ago, I had to take accountability for my, what the fuck I was doing. Cause I was like, damn, why is this happening to me? Cause you did this, cause you did that, cause you did that. It's everything I'm, I have to take accountability because I was like, Ariel, you're the one who's doing this. All this, the decisions that you're making is why your your life is like this. So I believe in that too. So it's like a little bit of both. Not yeah, for real. That one. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Keep going. All right, let's do the next one. <laughs> my home girl, my home, or my cousin said that he was smoking with this one girl, and he was like, "You smoke like Drake." I was like, how does Drake smoke? And he was like, Drake goes like this. And then blows it right out, doesn't he? <laughs> That's how my one homie smokes. That's how people <laughs> who smoke cigarettes smoke, though. <laughs> like, pump me up a little bit. That is true. Do you ever think you could get addicted to cigarettes? Like, you're already, you fucking weed. When did you start smoking weed? <laughs> I started smoking weed when I was 12 years old. Damn, I was 13, so around the same time. And then I started smoking weed with my pops when I was 13 because my mom found out and she told that nigga and we started I think it's wild weed. when kids are able to smoke with their parents. Like, your parents letting you smoke with you when people be like, I be smoking with my mom. Your mom, you smoke with your mom? I smoke weed with my mama every time I see it. That's, what's up? Like, everybody's like, oh, you lucky ass kid. But low key, I was like, I don't want to be higher on my mom. I feel like she started asking me questions, trying to like 
good shit out I'm of a, me. I'm gonna bring her on here and she gonna smoke and drink with us. She she for sure drink us under the my table. Mom, I ain't no question. My mom will drink, but she's probably not. No, she's actually been smoking a little bit lately, ever since my uncle passed. Can you pass your lemonade? Yes, ma'am. I just seen this crazy ass video that I thought about doing and it was like it was like if somebody around your life passed and they're like uh, they're la they're, they passed like two years ago and it's like, okay, well, here's a video about our mother, the things that we were scared to tell you when you were alive. And the sisters are both laughing like, if you were wondering who crashed your car that night, it was me. And then she starts laughing. She was like, when you died, I didn't know we were having to pay your taxes. Also, why did you put me on your insurance on this whole time I thought I, insu I had insurance? It was like laughing about shit like that. And I was like, that's actually kind of funny, a way to deal with life, even though you're sad they're gone, you're laughing about stuff that that you, you would have told them. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Maybe I should do that with some of my homies that passed. Shit, I, I've had a couple of these past. <laughs> this year too. This year's been crazy. Oh yeah. It's like the. Not, let me not say that. I was gonna say some wild shit. I was like, this is the death year. No, it's not. <laughs> let me shut the fuck up. Cause I jinx myself and something happens. I'm gonna think that 2024 about to be amazing. It is. Crazy. Speak that shit into existence. Thank you. You heard me. All right, let me see. Okay, what was the other one? What determines your happiness? And then there's like another following question. Can you do nothing and still experience happiness and contentment? I would say what... I think my answer actually answers the second one. What makes me happy is working. Like, making shit happen. Creating doing shit like so can i be happy doing nothing absolutely not like i would i can't even be happy doing nothing for like two hours i sit down for two hours and i start let me go make some beats let me go record let me so go you never have no lazy days just to chill watch movies eat. i went to disneyland okay. yesterday so that was your that was a lazy day that's not necessarily lazy day. you're still doing something that's fun it's a it's, it's yeah. ex i love experiencing something new whether if i've already experienced it because you experience it a different way so i was like that's that's not doing person, nothing you know over the different person yeah but exactly that's my point like i can't do nothing that, like, nothing. that was my day wednesday was my day i'm not doing shit and then it came up fuck it let's go to disneyland you feel me like well, I, I just funny. don't feel comfortable doing nothing i'm either working out or i'm working on something or i'm doing something like nah i would ne i would be depressed if I spent three days straight doing nothing, sitting in the bed, I would be depressed. No. So have you? When's the last time you actually felt depressed? And then, like, when you're depressed, what is your go-to thing to do when you are depressed? Hmm. The last time I was depressed is probably when my homie died. I was like two, three weeks ago. And my go-to thing to do when I'm depressed, actually, that no, was like a month ago. But my go-to thing to do is work. I'm going straight to the music. I'm about to start writing music, I'm about to start creating, maybe making beats. So I got the studio come through, tell a whole bunch of niggas come through, smoke weed. Like, I don't got time. Mm -hmm. I don't got time to be depressed and be sad and shit. I got to get shit done. So I'm like, look, nigga, I'm, I, I, I'm feeling it right now. Pull up, let's smoke up, let's drink, let's get some shit done, let's work. Mm -hmm. I don't give a fuck, tell whoever to pull up, 10 niggas. We got the stool, we got my crib. Everybody know how my, how my shit is. I got people around 24-7. So no, I don't got time to be depressed. I'm going straight to the work, and that's how I stay happy. So no, to that's, answer the question again, I can't be happy doing that. You're happy, okay. You can't be happy with not doing nothing. I don't have to be working out. Okay, that's actually pretty dope. I wish, uh, I was like that when getting depressed, <laughs> but I feel like females are a lot, a lot different. We're depressed. I want to cry, I want to eat, I want to drink, I want to do. I have to look for like other things to do because I'm the type of person that will put myself and take myself in a downward, a downward spiral when I need to be like going up like, oh, let me just go work out. Uh, let me go learn a new, like even when the uh, pandemic was happening, I was like, I need to learn how to uh, thread eyebrows, wax pussies. I need to like, I want to learn some new shit like while I'm that's why like the world is shut down so i was like that's something that i need to look in to keep on doing learn i love learning new things like i was like i'm about to learn a new language actually i know a little bit of sign language so that's why i was like a little bit of stuff added on but my happiness i would have to say is fuck honestly my mom makes me happy a lot so look y'all be fucked if this bitch the cow of this bitch died <laughs> but i was like okay so god my mom and then i was like 
I hate to say it because money is greed, but I was like, like say working when everything is starting to fall into place and money makes problems go away. If somebody says money doesn't make happiness, they're fucking lying. Because once I'm able to pay off my bills, my debt, I'm able, I'm able to help all people that I love, I'm happy. If you're happy, I see you happy, then I'm happy. Everybody's like, when I see my niggas gunning money, everybody's happy, this is cool, everything's going good. That's what makes me happy. And then I was like, am I content with not doing nothing? No, because regardless, I need to, I have plans. I know what I want to do in life. I want to travel. I want to fucking, um, I know what type of houses I want. I have a dream house. I want like three different fireplaces, one in the living room, one in my room. I need a fire pit outside, a pool with a slide. I got shit that I want. So the thing is, regardless, I can't just sit down and mope around. I got to get up and work too. And then if, if one plan doesn't work, I go for another. If another plan doesn't work, then I go for another. I think this is a good question to ask the audience, like, can you guys be happy doing nothing? And what is happiness for you? I think that's something for everybody. To I would you want to know everybody's right now, yeah, too. Comment, comment at the bottom, and maybe we'll read that in the next episode, what people Hi, say. Dean. But, oh, yeah, but before, before I forget, I was like, I was saying, I have somebody in my family that is content with not doing nothing, but yet they are so happy. Like, this nigga's so happy, he makes me happy when he comes around. Like, well, my life is, like, fucking up. Doesn't have a job. I don't even think this nigga has his license. This nigga didn't graduate high school. Like, but he'll be happy if he has food, pussy, weed, drink, and a place to lay his head. You know what's funny about that? Not to say, like, oh, I could be happy with that, but, um... Me and the homies was just talking, like, matter of fact, me and my homie EJ, I'm rocking this t-shirt right now, fourth quarter movement, shout out, shout him out, you feel me? And we was just talking, and he was like, yeah, like, oh, like I wouldn't be happy, or I wouldn't consider myself successful without this, 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 and this, you feel me? Mm -hmm. And I was just telling him, like, man, I've been watching this motherfucking, like, I don't really watch Twitch and shit like that, but I've been seeing it and just mm. like seeing people's content and like just LeBron and like AD and just different people and like what they're doing. Like, you feel me? Like mm -hmm. having millions of dollars, like what would you do if you did have that? You feel me? If you have millions of fucking dollars in your account, what would you do? And um, and I'm watching these niggas just sit here playing fucking Call of Duty and GTA. And you know, I know these niggas smoke weed, but mm -hmm. you feel me? Not to say that that's what they're posting, but. <laughs> Obviously, probably smoking weed, drinking, chilling with their families, and just obviously they in big houses and nice cars and shit like that. And when I really looked at like the like just like the real like gist of it, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like it's no different than how you feel me niggas is living now. You feel me? Like yeah, I would be living the same way. So like as long as I'm working and I'm doing my thing, I consider that happiness. As long as I have the ability to like put money in my own pocket, have my own studio, record, do music shoot the podcast, work with my homies. All my homies is here. We working, you feel me? These are my peoples for real. To me, the, I define that as success. You feel me? Like, it is success. But a lot of people don't have that. So, like, the shit that we have right now is, like, kind of looking back. I'm looking at... I'm used to my family living off a of family. I mean, some people that don't have nothing are living in the motel, the motel. And I was like, you like, oh, yeah, it's so, it's so simple. But the thing is, the end game is, for me, overall, and I've been asked this question multiple times in life, what do you want in life? What do you want to be in life? Happy. The goal is to be happy and comfortable. If I'm happy and comfortable, that's like all there is that needs you. You're happy, comfortable. Comfortable, that can mean is I got to play. I have a, I have a good, decent size, a decent size house. Um, my kids, I have healthy kids. That makes me like comfortable, happy. Everything is working out the way it's supposed to be. It doesn't have to be, honestly, I don't have to live in a giant house. But it would be nice. I mean, that's my goal. But the thing is, yeah. if I'm looking at it, I need to appreciate and have gratitude for what we have and what I'm going to have in the future. No, for real. So we have the Angeliscos tequila straight from the City of Angels. Angeliscos is a premium small batch tequila. It's fire. Check it out. I got the Blanco. You got the Reposado. Yeah, Let me as well some pour up some right now. Yeah, no, I'm going I'm to bring some for your little B-Day. For the birthday yeah, one already. Yeah, for sure. I was like, this and, uh, is strong. Follow him on the gram, <laughs> Angelisco Tequila, and then shout out my boy Ben Zoy. Follow him on the ground too. I'm mm -hmm. the ground too. Freedom, have fun, express yourself, do what you like, you do what makes you happy. 
Cause you feel me? Like at the same time, like it, for me, I need I need that same space to do what I want to do as well. That's you what feel I'm me? saying. Like, Being that young, it's kind of like. But then some women and some men might be like, "There's always a, somebody that loves each other more. Either the men." The, the guy loves the girl more or the girl loves the guy more. Why, though? Like, why? That's, when have you ever known for something to be equal and matched? I think that's a woman thing, though. So you're saying through your whole life, you've never loved a woman more than she's loved you. Are you sure? Have I loved a woman more than she loves me? You better be doing go all, far. I love all women, and I never stop loving women. And, and, like, my whole thing is this. Like, if I loved you, then I loved you from the beginning. I didn't, I, I, you feel me? I still love you. Like, I'm not a... You talking about homie answer, love. Answer the question. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm answering the question. But, no super nigga over there. No, nah, no, nah, real... Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to keep this 100,000 right now. Because somebody fuck, cause this, cause this, fuck with somebody more I, than they fuck with you. Yes. Here's the clarity, the here's the clarity of what I'm saying. I don't know. <laughs> but I know one thing. Like, if I fuck with somebody, I fuck with them. That doesn't change. Like, I'm not like, oh, I fuck with you less now. Or, oh, you fuck with this nigga. No, I don't love you no more. Whoever I loved in the first place, if I ever loved someone, like, if I ever fuck with anybody and I st- told them I love you, I still love them, like period. If I if they did some foul shit, I love you from a distance. You ever heard of that? You can love someone from a distance. Okay, but even getting in love, you're talking about like the way you're saying it. Like I always had love for you. I just had love for you. You were never in love. No, Have you been I'm in, in love? love. I'm in love. I can be in love from a distance because my love is not valued on based on what you do for me or what we do for each other or what we're doing. It's just how you feel with that person. Exactly. That's it's, it's, ba- it's based on how we spend our time together, how I feel when we're together. How All right, so the question me. was, your answer is no. You've never loved somebody more than you, they loved you. He ain't answered that maybe, at all. Maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe. That's my answer, maybe. He ain't know. Maybe I have. Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. I, I have know. it both. I've had it happen. I've Somebody's loved me more than I love them, and I've loved somebody more than they love me. And now I feel like I have, I feel like my next relationship is going to be perfect because it's going to be equal. It's going to be a balance. It's going to be a balance, and I want a balance. I mean, I don't know. All I know is if I if I'm in love with somebody, my shit don't change. Like it's no like oh it's like this much or this much. If I love you, I love you. That's just it. I'm do whatever for you. I got your back. I got you no matter what. That's just what it is. You feel me? And even if I ain't talked to you in six months, you hit me up, and that happens with me. Like maybe I ain't talked to somebody I fuck with six months. What's up? Yeah, I love you. You good? Boom boom. It's all good. You feel me? It's that's life. It just is what it is. Like okay, you saying it's life, but. Uh... There's never, there's some people that's like, oh, he did me too. Some bitches, I'm not bitches, but it was like some bitches be like, oh, he did me too dirty. This nigga could be, can be dying on the side of the freeway and I'll leave him there. I understand. Some bitches I, like I that, wherever that. they left you. I understand that, and that's cool for their little certain situations that they got going on, but for me, that ain't none of my situations. My situations, any person I ever fuck with that I told him, any girl that I ever told you, I love you, I still love you to this day. Nothing changed, and look, it's. it's I be love. throwing out "I love you" a lot. I love you. 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 So okay, have you told someone that you love that you love that did some shit behind your back or stabbed you in your back after they did it or before they did it? Mm-hmm. Either way, no, no. After, after. After they did it, after they did some. No, shit. no. You told them that you loved them before. Before, yeah. I told him even after. After you, I'm like, because you still stick with the person. You still stick with the person. And then later on, you know you're in love when you're like laying in bed and you're still, you're looking, looking at them like, I really love this stupid ass person. I don't know why the fuck this happened to me. Yeah. I'm mad it happened to me. Why the fuck is, especially this nigga, you feel like that? Like, damn, this wasn't supposed to be the one. And I, I have a problem though. I'll be in love. But then I was going to say this. This could be another topic. I'll be in love. And I don't know if it's like other niggas think like this. Like, why would you cheat on the baddest bitch? I'll be in love and I'll be like, damn, there's something else out there that has more money, looks better, treat me better. Probably is like, gives better head, better head, better sex. There's somebody that's, I feel like there's always better. And I was like, maybe that's why relationships don't work out that much. Cause somebody's always looking for better and like looking around when you have Something that's priceless, but you keep on looking out for something better, and then you fuck around and leave a bitch that was 
perfect and that was that was your better that was your greatest but then now you got some bullshit because you decided to leave that one do you think that's like a la mindset why do you think that's a la mindset i don't know i just feel like people in la just always feel like they they have access it's an access thing you know you got access to the most beautiful women you have access to the niggas with the most money you have access to the best weed, the best drinks, the best everything, you feel me? So, why not? Why not? You can go into another country and find you a fire-ass African bitch, or you can go to New York, even different cities and diff like different, different states, I mean, different states, and you'll find like somebody better, like a fucking, uh, my uncle was staying in fucking Barstow, and he was like, there is nobody out here for like my daughters to actually like really fuck with. I was like, cause you're in fucking Barstow. Nigga, move out here. If you move to fucking Rancho or Fontana, at least you'll have a, uh, like all you got is meth heads and shit out there. You got actually people that's trying to do something with their stuff over here. But I feel like you never know what you're gonna find. You can go anywhere and find something. Like if you go visit your cousins, you go to fucking all the way in like, Mississippi, Alabama, those places. You never know what you're gonna find. Like I said, life, like you, you said, life is a journey. And I said, uh, everything happens for a reason. So that's why I'm like, I'm not gonna forcefully try to cheat or like do it on purpose. But if the opportunity presents itself and I'm trying to feel it, then I'll do what you guys said. Hey, to be honest, this is not gonna work. Honestly, I had a great time. So <laughs> you would do that. You would call your nigga. And be like, no, I'm a to the text. I'm not gonna break, call. That's bold. I gotta be text? faded. Yeah. Text is fucked up. Is it better At to do an email? <laughs> is that more professional to do an email? Uh, um, to whoever call. this, what well, what are the parents used to write for our school things? Oh, to whoever yeah. this kid so made concern. Whoever is guardian, parent guardian. Whoever this made concern. I used to call my phone every. Now I had like sixty absences, sixty uh, in in six period. I was ditching every. As soon as lunch, after after lunch, I'm out. You feel me? Every single time. Call my shit. I told my mom, I don't know what happened. Baby, I was there. I must have been tardy or something. Oh my god. <laughs> I must have god. been tardy or something. You were that type of nigga, that type of kid. Yeah, I was pretty bad, but it's fun. It's fun being bad. I think it's fun being bad. It's fun being a bad kid. It's fun being a bad. It's fun doing hood rat shit. Yeah, it's fun doing, fun doing hood rat shit with your friend, like smoking cigarettes. It's it was so good. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, wait, am I mistaken? Or is there new episodes of the Boondocks? Is there new episodes? I know there no? was a fourth season. Somebody said something about. I know, I know, I know they got episode. all the episodes on HBO for sure. Like hands down, I'm about to watch them. As a matter of fact, when I get home. I was watching them shits mm -hmm. when I was off the shrooms in San Diego, and no cap, I was dying a lot. I was trying to go to sleep. I couldn't. Like, I just kept laughing. Like, <laughs> I just kept laughing. It was it was fucked up. You got to put on something boring or something like that you don't usually watch to go to sleep. Really, you gonna be laughing at that shit? <laughs> what, 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 what do you watch? Like, would you watch Seinfeld? I heard a lot of people don't want to watch Seinfeld. Seinfeld's cool. Seinfeld's cool. It. You know, Friends. I watch Friends. Friends is all right, and R.I.P. to um, Chandler. Yeah, Chandler, pass. But yeah, Friends is cool. I actually liked uh, what was my, what was that show? Che is it Cheers? Cheers? You watch Cheers? I, I ain't gonna lie, I watch every episode of Cheers. Oh my god, <laughs> like, I haven't even watched Cheers, but <laughs> I watch every episode of Cheers on Netflix. I don't watch The Nanny. What's the whitest shows you can think of? Let's see, Apple, Bob Saget. I was like, <laughs> Bob Saget. Full House, Full House is cool. Entourage, Bob Saget is a freak on Entourage. You gotta, I used to be up late as fuck watching Nick at night. Whatever happened to the <laughs> Oh yeah, no cap. And then my mom would be like, this is an old ass show. I see like, all these episodes already. Oh, get out of here. Honestly, looking back at that acting back in the day, it's like, this shit was trash. And people thought this was like the best show ever. It's better than Tubi though. Than Tubi? Hmm. Dead, but <laughs> Tubi has some funny shit. I should put out something on Tubi. We should all put out something on Tubi. <laughs> we can, I guarantee we can get something on Tubi. <laughs> we met a nigga at the club. He said, "Yeah, y'all got you. Y'all want to get in my movie?" He said, I, "I got it on Tubi." I looked at the nigga. I said, "Hey, ain't you from some? What movie? What? Nah, you wasn't with us. It was me and Tree Top. This nigga was from some fuck. I think it was like ATL or some shit. I'm like, nigga, I ain't seen you since ATL, nigga." <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is it the nigga? Oh my God, hold on. The brother, like you got a Picasso in your house. That one? Yeah, it might have been. Esquire? Oh, no, I heard he slept with the tranny. 
Damn. I know, Cap, we seen that nigga at Juneteenth. We almost got a motherfucking interview with him. Oh my God. We was, we was trying to holler at bitches. It, just, it didn't go. It didn't work. <laughs> we was trying to holler at bitches. I ain't gonna lie. But, um, mm -hmm. right. You gotta be careful nowadays. You think you hauling out of, hauling out of bitch, but y'all <laughs> No, no, Cap. Matter of fact, speaking of that, the Hollywood Hills, the Hollywood Hills party was funny. We was at a party in the Hollywood Hills. I was getting this one girl number. And it was dark because we was walking up the hill, you know, so you had to yeah. walk up the hill. So she was like, I was like, damn, you look good. She was like, you don't even know what I look like. I said, I really don't. Hold on. Let me start starting to say <laughs> light real quick. I was like, oh, no, you look good. Let me get your girl real quick. Boom, boom, boom. Shit worked out pleasantly, but. Pleasantly. You in Hollywood, man. Just be, be careful. careful. You be never know. Careful. Yeah. And the thing is, like, bitches love fucking in the dark. And then what if you see, like, people beginning that the surgery. Getting the dick cut off, making a pussy. <coughs> so, that's, <laughs> that's too much. Would you fuck a pregnant chick? Would you fuck a pregnant chick? Oh my Pleasantly God, cool? you brought this shit up. Again, oh the thing God. is, because I just found out two of the homies were fucking random pregnant girls. And I was like, what? This not even your baby? I, think that's <laughs> I so know crazy. some nigga who got a fetish for pregnant girls and he kept asking me shit, asking me shit. I'm like, man, I guess, I guess, man. I guess. If it's the right pregnant girl, whatever, I guess. Big. But he was like, he was trying to like coerce me into doing it. Like, nah, bro, you would. Cause look, listen, if this is a situation and it was this bitch and she was pregnant, it was I'm like, <laughs> bro, okay, man. I would, yeah. Okay, big. yes. I'll fuck okay. it. Damn. I'm dead. But that's why I was saying because I know two homies that said they fucked a pregnant girl. And I was like, I mean, you could fuck a pregnant girl and you don't know she's pregnant because, like, you know, it takes a minute for them to show, but you knew. You seen it. I remember this nigga in my summer camp and he said he don't know who his daddy is. It was three possibilities because it was three niggas fucking his mama, so That's none of them knew who it was. Sad. And none of them took a blood test. Two of them died. Hey, that's the type of shit to where, like, I would fuck on and disown my mom. Nigga, you're embarrassing me and all the homies saying, like, I couldn't. Like, that's why I feel like about, like, if you really are willing to get with a porn star or like a girl that's like a super popular OF bitch where there you see her pussy everywhere, you would wife that? And if people actually wife that, I'd be thinking like, what about your kids? This is the way I would wife that. Future. If these niggas look, say you seen her pussy, right? Mm -hmm. If you see my dick going into that pussy on the OF every time, why not? Who knows that your dick, it could be somebody else's dick. They're not, I they're know. Not. <laughs> you paying me to look at my dick and balls. And the other thing is this. I told you I grew up differently. And I remember when I was a kid. I shouldn't even tell this story. But I remember when I was a kid. <laughs> Say it now. And uh, my pops used to fuck with this point, uh, whatever. Like I told you, right? Uh, and it used to be this. I used to try to come in the room like early in the morning. You know, you just go into your yeah. parents' room early in the yeah. morning. And I come in early in the morning. It'd be time to like, don't, don't come in, don't come in. Don't, don't come in. You're about to get us in jail. I'm like, what? Like, I never understood, but I realized these niggas was about to get a child pornography charge, you feel me? Because I was about to come in when they had a little live webcam and shit coming in, you feel what? me? So, what? Yeah, I'm I mean, dead. That's funny as fuck. That's life. That's life. <laughs> oh my God, that's life. I, I remember I'll be running in, I'll be running in. Saturday morning. No, 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 come in, come in. Hey, hey, get us in trouble. <laughs> Man, for real. It's like, like I, that's what I'm like, a fucking, um. <laughs> but, oh, no, oh my God, what movie is that? I live here and you don't. You're gonna give me a trove. Give me a trove. <laughs> Next Friday. Yes. We were just talking about movies that's funny that you can't go to sleep watching. And it was funny because I was watching Friday and I wanted to go to sleep. I just put it on to go to sleep. Mm -hmm. And the nigga stayed up the whole time. And watched it. Saying every motherfucking line. I'm trying to go to sleep. I'm fake sleep like this. Why are you mouthing the motherfucking lines and, and shit? And then you try to turn around the other way, but you can't. Yeah, for real. You gotta you gotta <laughs> I want some of them chitlins. I like pig's feet. I'm over here saying every motherfucking line and shit. Like. Somebody said, would you, okay, everybody here, what would you say? And then in the comments, drop it below too. If you had to pick a, one of those movies to be gone, it was like either How High or All About the Benjamins or Belly. How, damn. I can't say All About the Benjamins. That's already number one for me. How High I really love and Belly mm -hmm. I really love. That's like two of my, like, Favorite movies ever, so I would probably choose How High. 
Because I got to keep belly mine. That's my favorite intro to a movie. Steady, are you ready? I mean, that's a fire intro, hey. but the thing is, I'm saying, I like to laugh. So I would like to rather have movies that are like, yeah. that always made me laugh. Well, if I'm keeping, I'm keeping all about the Benjamin, so I have one laugh movie. So I'll keep. Then, Steady, are you ready? <laughs> hey. I was like, what's going on? Oh, wait, wait, so belly or shot this? Belly or Shatas. Ooh, that's a good one. I'll pick Belly over Shatas just because, like, I just love Belly. Like, I love that scene where the nigga go sit down with. Uh, I mean, it looks like a fucking music video. It's a movie. It's the nigga that. Well, makes, by yeah, yeah, so yeah, what's yeah. his name? I, I forgot Williams. his name. Yeah. But I'm saying, like, I feel like Shatas is. Isn't Bob. Bob okay, not. There's. Okay. It's one of his, grand, either his grandson or his son. Yeah, my favorite part is take the one and leave the one. Yeah, take, the, I, I, take the weed I, and leave the that's money. What a, that's, that's one of my lines. I said, nigga, tell me something. I'll be like, take the one and, and leave, leave the, the one. one. You sound like a pussy. <laughs> All right, that's it for this episode. Episode two. Episode two, we were talking about personal philosophies. And <laughs> the next episode is going to be nostalgia. It's going to be going up. Mm -hmm. So anything nostalgic that you used to fuck with back then, so whether it's movies, TV shows, the toys, and video games whatever you can think of comment below also so we can actually start putting in our comments with those things too yeah yeah comment below so we can put our comments on the things that y'all talking about we're gonna shout y'all out anybody who comments and everything and don't and forget to share yeah share like subscribe all that we appreciate you tapping in and make sure you check out the next episode thank you thank you all I ask is this, look uh, uh. Yeah, can you break bread? Can you fuck me? Can you give it? Can you give it? Can you cook good? Can you pay green? Do it stay with? Look, look, how's you educated? Everybody, this is Element the Alchemist comic book. It's a comic about uh, a superhero from Los Angeles and dealing with just all the life, gang life, all types of shit. Check it out. It's an Instagram at Element the Alchemist. Fire. I already started. I started a little bit of it and I was like, this is actually pretty fire. I was like, I already like it so far. I only like fucking like, four or five pages, but I'm intrigued. So I suggest everybody gets it. It's intriguing. Check it out. Shout out our sponsor, Juju Nugs. My boy June Dog. Got some good fire. Tap in with it on Instagram and everything. <laughs> I smoked it. I was like last the first that first podcast when we first tried it out. I tried it. Fire. Too some, high, honestly, low key. It was some guy. <laughs> it was some guys. The Zookies. The Zookies, that's my favorite shit you got, so check it out. It's called Zookies? Zookies. Zookies. Zookies, Zookies sookin' now, that's what it sounds like. Zookies <laughs> Fire though, overall go. Wipe your shoulder off, come on now. Thank you. Tap in.